Hello uh, folks, welcome back to the channel, Farm Envoy Stream here. Here we're looking at a new mod for the 6th of May 2024. This is the Star and Peter 4000 by Star Brazil and eConnect modding. It is 71.79 megabytes to download and this is a self-propelled sprayer that is commonly used down in Southern America in regions of Brazil and likes of Argentina as well. So this is our only mod for the day and we're going to get any more mods, but if they do, I'll do another video, but regardless, so... This is the Siren Peter 4000, and yeah, this is a fancy bit of kit, this is, so... Obviously there's only one of these, I've just got two different ones out for herbicide and fertilizer. So yeah, first of all, you'll find this under vehicles and crop protection. Siren Peter 4000, 285,605 to buy. Compare that to your other base game and premium expansion sprayers. It is a bit less in capacity, 4,000 in capacity, 37 miles an hour top speed, 36 miles an hour, or 36 meters wide, 45 slots goes down to 2, but it works at 21 miles an hour, so that is 6 more compared to the others. And yeah, so really compared to the Brewing for 200, this is more of a fair comparison rather than like sort of the Rubicon and Dino. But yeah, so let's go look at configurations. So, once again, we are limited on configurations. What you see is what you get. Do have some couple of real brands. We've got Treadborg, Michelin, and back to Treadborg. Full flag, so we've got without a flag. With a flag one, that's South Africa. Argentina flag 2, flag 3 is Australia is that or New Zealand, I always forget the two. I think that's Australia, I think that's Bolivia, Chile, United States, Mexico, Russia, uh, Uruguay I think that is, Venezuela, Brazil, and lastly is that Peru? Yeah, I'm not sure my nationality flag, so do apologise if I butcher any of those. So yeah, very limited configurations. Also, if you're using precision farming, you do have the seed and spray option. The reason why I'm doing this mod review without precision farming for a change is because of having issues with it coming out of the nozzles and that, like the animations and that. Because yeah, when I was spraying, it was coming out or was it coming out as normal but there's no like, new physicality right because I didn't purchase the field options I'm not sure but yeah anywho so let's go and look at this so oh, that is pretty now so can't for help me moving up so go to cab so you've got 36 meter width and of course you can change width down from 36 23.7 meters, 11 and a half, and 4 meters. So yeah, there's no much options apart from extending the wheels and then raising and lowering the sprayer. So R1, right stick left to right, brings the wheels in, and then up and down on the right stick as well, raises and lowers that. Now this is on fault. Look, animation sound it is. Sort of slowly booming out. And again, this is realistic to what move sprayers are like in real life. So you see it unfolds. Also, there's a little section on the back that covers what we're missing via the main view itself. That is the unfolding position. Then go in, so L1, R1. That raises and lowers the boom, so L1, R1. Very quick that is, to be honest. Go up, down, up, down, up. So, that's that. Raise it up, builds wide open. Go to the field. And we are spraying. Yeah, 21 miles an hour. 
Put one twenty miles an hour. Not too bad if all. Actually that is quite nice indeed. A lot of house coming out of the nozzles. Not too bad. So you said the worker goes to the automatic low position. That's only a slight downside, but at the end of the day, with the worker it does the job. And now with her flight, just show the animation of spray in. That's fixed well, so we turn it on. If I turn it off again, you can see it turns off and on that. It does it, just a little go bang, drop down at once. It also comes out, so, which again, makes sense, that's how it works in real life. Then turn it off, sorts it from the inside and works its way out. Spraying herbicide and again just showing off the physics on animations of both. And that's a good thing we had this raise, so we didn't end up clipping the other worker net. So, yeah, overall, not too bad. Nice bit of kit. Now, turn off and unfolding it. Just overall terms with hands as well. It's not too bad. Very responsive. Uh, yeah, just checking there's no wheel options in that. Nope. On oh, no, area, sorry. Oh, there was. So, yeah, you've got your all wheel steering, so that's what we're doing at the moment. You've got front wheel steering and back to all wheel steering. So, showing off the difference in the two. So, all wheel steering. Steering. See, of course, with just the front wheel steering, you can have a wider berth down, a wider turning radius. But if you want like, your fight controls and that, maybe have front wheel steering is best for you. But also, if you're working in tight lanes, tight fields and that, then have all wheel steering is always ideal. So, yeah, turn that off. Yeah, overall, just a little want more of a quick round look. Lovely bit of detail, and of course, this is a collaboration with Star Brazil and eConnect Modding. Yeah, absolute stunning. Just again, awesome bit of kit. Do recommend this mod and that. Oh, yeah, apart from that, that is all of our mods for today. Yeah, just checking the mod hub just now, and yeah, again, no mods. There is lots of mods in testing, but yep, yeah, as of at the moment, this is only a scheduled release mod. But regardless, this is the Star Wars Impeder 4000 by Star Brazil and eConnect Modding. As always, hope you find these mod reviews helpful and informative in some shape or form. If so, smash the button, feel free to down below. If you will share us, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to channel yet, then please consider. But, where you do, hope you nice day. But for now, it's a farmer Edward Tree, and I'll see you all very soon.